Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 21 Parts A, B, D, E, and G In Part A, because these two complex numbers are being added, and because there is no number being multiplied or distributed against either one of them, we can drop the parentheses. Now we gather like terms. 2 plus 1 equals 3. 7i minus 3i add up to 4i. Our answer is 3 plus 4i. Now let's look at part b. The first complex number has no number being multiplied or distributed against it, so we can drop its parentheses. The second complex number is being subtracted. Algebraically, we will deal with this by distributing negative 1. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. Negative 1 times negative 9i is positive 9i. Gathering like terms, 10 minus 6 is positive 4. Negative 8i plus 9i is positive 1i. So we write plus i, and our answer is 4 plus i. In part d, we are multiplying two complex numbers. We will handle this by the multiplication method of FOIL. 2 times 4 gives us 8. On the outside, 2 times positive i is 2i, so we will write plus 2i. On the inside, we have negative 5i times 4, that's minus 20i. And lastly, we have negative 5i times positive i, that is negative 5 times i squared. Let's deal first with this i squared. i squared is negative 1. So this last term, we have negative 5 times negative 1, that's positive 5. Gathering like terms, 8 plus 5 is 13. And 2i minus 20i is negative 18i. Our final answer is 13 minus 18i. Let's look at part E. When we are dividing by a complex number, we look at the denominator and determine its conjugate. The conjugate of 6i is negative 6i. So we multiply this expression into the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator we have negative 42i. In the denominator we have negative 36 times i squared. And i squared is negative 1. So we have negative 42i divided by 36. And because all of the pieces here are multiplied and or divided, we can reduce dividing by 6 and by 6. We have negative 7i divided by 6. If we were to be picky and technical and write the answer in a plus bi form, we would write 0 minus 7 sixths i. In part g, we are dividing by a complex number. The complex conjugate of the denominator is 3 plus 4i. We multiply that into the numerator and denominator. So, in the numerator, we must FOIL those two expressions together, and in the denominator, we must FOIL these two expressions together. In the numerator, FOILing, we have 3 plus 4i plus 6i plus 8i squared. In the denominator, when we FOIL, we have 9 plus 12i minus 12i minus 16i squared. In the numerator, we have 3 plus 10i minus 8, because 8 times i squared is 8 times negative 1, which is negative 8, and we write minus 8. In the denominator, we have 9. These two terms are opposites and add up to 0, plus 16, because negative 16 times i squared is negative 16 times negative 1, and that is plus 16. In the numerator we have 3 minus 8 is negative 5 plus 10i. In the denominator we have 25. We have negative 5 25ths plus 10 25ths i. 
reducing, we have negative one-fifth plus two-fifths i. And that is our answer.